guys, welcome to Dylan Cell Hobbies, and today we are going to be talking about Marvel again. So, Avengers Infinity War came out, and no spoilers, I will simply say this. If you have not seen this movie yet, you need to go see it, because it is absolutely a just fantastic film. Just a fantastic film. And I also did a review for it. I'll leave a link to my video where I did my review for it in the description below if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, assuming, of course, you've seen the the uh, movie. If you have not seen it, guys, go and watch it. It's a fantastic film. But with that coming out, I think everyone is going to start listing their favorite uh, Marvel movies. And I really do believe that for many people... Uh, Avengers Infinity War is going to be at least in the top five for many people. It's that good of a film. Um, and I decided, you know what, why don't I just rank the films myself? You know, everyone's going to be doing it. Why not just jump on the bandwagon, you know? So, uh, I'm going to be in this video listing my absolute favorite Marvel film to my absolute least favorite. Now, let me say this. I said Marvel. There are a lot, a lot of Marvel movies, and man, if I did, did this, I would probably be here all day. Simply what I'm going to do to, make, uh, to shorten the list up is I looked up on Google, and I'll leave a link to the webpage where I found this at, the official list of Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. That means this list of movies is the official list. Any other superhero mo movie that isn't on this list isn't officially connected to the Marvel Universe, even though they technically should be. Um, if it's not on this list, then it's not part of the cinematic Marvel Universe, okay? I, I want to say a that right now. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go find that list. And I'm doing this video based off that list. And on that list, there are, in fact, 19. 19! That's actually quite a lot. 19 Cinematic Marvel Universe's movies. And I'm going to be listing my absolute favorite to my absolute least favorite. Let, let's... Let's do my least favorite first, okay? So, like I said, there's 19. Let's start at number 19. What I I'm going to call this the 9 if films, because these first 9 films I'm going to talk about, it's not that they're bad films, it's just that they're much better fi oh, films to talk about in the future of this video. So, let me just get through this list right now, shall we? Okay, so really none of these movies are that bad. I mean, I do have issues with the first five that I'm going to talk about from 19 to 15 here. Um, let, let's go ahead and start with number 19. Everybody is gonna hate me for this, but Spider-Man Homecoming. Look, I'm not gonna go too much into detail but I was not looking forward to that movie, and I never saw it in theaters or anything. In fact, I think I only saw maybe more than half the film. Um, I never saw the whole film, and I probably should go watch the whole film. I never had an interest in this movie. Uh, the only reason why I watched it was because Tony Stark is in it, and Iron Man, let, let, me, let me tell you this right now, Iron Man's my favorite uh, superhero. Uh, the really, the only real reason why this movie is number 19 for me, though, is because of Spider-Man. Uh, uh, nothing against the actor. The actor who plays him. Fantastic job. It's just that I just have a bad memory with Spider-Man, and I will never put Spider-Man. Doesn't matter doesn't matter if the movie becomes the number one greatest hit in all of cinematic history. I will never put Spider-Man 
uh, any higher than any of the other superheroes ever, just because I have a bad memory with them. Am I holding a grudge against Spider-Man? Pretty much. But anyway, honestly, it's not as bad as a film as the others, and I really shouldn't have put it at 19. I, th this should probably be at number 12 instead of 19. It's just I'm putting it at 19 because I honestly just don't like Spider-Man. That, yeah. Um, and then let, let me talk about number 18. So, number 18, this movie is, God, this is an old movie. I, 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 I don't even know when the last time I watched it. I've only seen it once before, and it was a long time ago. So, the Incredible Hulk movie, and, um, I don't, I forget which year this came out. I'll put it on the screen, or on the screen, or maybe on the picture or something when this movie actually came out. Uh, look, this movie, I, I think there, they are, there are other Hulk movies that are just better than this film. With that said, I enjoyed this film. I enjoyed this film quite a lot. It's a monster movie. I never, I never really looked at Hulk like a real hero. For a long time, I looked at him like a monster, and that's why he's probably my second. Now, after seeing some of the others, maybe my third favorite superhero, uh, because. I just like the idea of him being a, 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 mo a monster um, with a genius inside. I really think, I think it's cool. With that said, this movie isn't the best movie in the list. So, it deserves its spot at number 18. And I don't think there's any movie that's worse than this one. Ju just because it's just not that great of a film. There, there are other better Hulk movies out there, I, I believe. And then number 17, Ant-Man. Okay, again, I never saw this in theaters. I saw this eventually. One night, I was laying on the couch, tired, but not wanting to go to bed, and I see Ant-Man. I watched it just for the sake of watching it. I had no interest in Ant-Man, and I had no idea that Ant-Man was even Marvel or was even a... I knew he was a superhero, but I didn't know that he was Marvel until I saw, um, obviously the poster here, it says Marvel Ant-Man. I didn't even know it was Marvel when it came to Ant-Man, and I had no interest in Ant-Man either, and after watching the Ant-Man movie, I'll be honest, it's not as bad as that Hulk movie, but it's, they, they've done better films, they've done a lot better films, okay, so... I've talked about that. Let's go on to number 16. Now, number 16, this actually kind of breaks my heart. This actually kind of breaks my heart. It's Iron Man 3. What? Iron Man is my absolute favorite superhero, and he's always been. He's always been my favorite superhero. Uh, and... The Iron Man franchise, I've always enjoyed, and everything, I, I'll say this, everything that Robert Downey Jr. has ever done to the character of Iron Man, uh, gold. Complete gold. Um, but anyway, as in terms of the Iron Man story, uh, and Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man's my favorite superhero, but Tony Stark's my favorite Marvel character. Uh, not superhero, but favorite character is Tony Stark. I just like Tony Stark's uh, story, him being a normal man turned superhero thanks to his genius mind. I think it's really cool. With that said, Iron Man 3, it isn't that bad of a film. It's just, I, I think if you don't know the Iron Man story, you might enjoy this movie a lot more. The fact is, I mean, I'm not I'm not necessarily a comic book reader, though I have looked up and read some of the comic books. I haven't, like, collected any of them. I haven't, like, read every single little thing of Iron Man, okay? But I do know the story of Iron Man. I do know the story of the Mandarin with Iron Man. 
And this movie does not portray that in any way, shape, or form. And because of that, it's just not a good movie. Not to mention what happens at the end. I understand it, but it's just... I'm not going to spoil it, but it's just not the Iron Man that I grew up with and know and love. Even though, I will say this, Robert Downey Jr., genius. Perfect in this movie. It's not his fault that the movie sucks, you know? When, when it comes to me, story is always the most important thing, and the actor did a fantastic job. Robert Downey Jr., fantastic job in the movie. The story sucks. Simple as that. It, it didn't portray what Iron Man originally was to me in that movie. Okay, let me talk about number 15. Number 15... Thor of the Dark World. I've only seen this movie once. And, you know, I, I, I'll swear. I'll swear this. There's only... A, a movie has to be really, really good for me to watch it more than once. Um, some of these movies, most of these movies that I'm about to talk, uh, talk to after I talk about these first five, uh, I've seen more than once. I've seen two or three times. Even some of them I've seen six or seven times. They're that good. But Thor The Dark World, I've seen once and it's not that bad of a film. It's just there are much better films and like I I, I enjoyed this part for um, the character of Loki but if I'm being honest with you I don't remember much of the movie and again I it's not that I've collected and read every single uh, comic book when it comes to Thor or anything, but I know the story of Thor. I've looked it up, and I don't think this movie does that great of a job. Just like with Iron Man 3, I don't think it does that great of a job as um, portraying the Thor story. It has nothing to do with the actor. The actor for Thor is amazing. Amazing in this movie. Um... It's just I don't think the story fit Thor, just like I don't think the Iron Man story fit, uh, fit Iron Man and Iron Man 3. It's not as bad as Iron Man 3, but I was bored with the entire film. Let, let me just say that. So, let me go up to number 14. Okay, now that I've gotten rid of the probably least five favorites, let me go to the next... Maybe four that, honestly, I wish I could put higher on the list. The only reason why these four movies are here and not higher on the list is because the other movies are much better than these. So number 14 here, we got Iron Man 2. Okay, I've seen this movie at least six or seven times. Because, again, Iron Man's my favorite character. And I absolutely love this movie. If I'm being honest with you, it's not the best movie, though. And the fact that it's this low on the ranking, even though Iron Man's in it, even though it's about Iron Man and Iron Man's my favorite character, must, to me, must really show how much I like the other films. Like, the other films are just better than this movie. That do, that's not to say that this movie is bad. It, it's a really good film, and I've seen it six or seven times. I've, I absolutely love Iron Man 2. Way better than Iron Man 3. Um, the only reason why it's here and not higher on the list is because the other movies I've enjoyed a lot more. <laughs> what do you think about that? So, let me, let me go to the next movie. Guardians of the Galaxy... Two. Okay, so Guardians of the Galaxy 2 funniest uh, until you get to Thor Ragnarok, funniest movie there is in the Marvel Universe. I really did enjoy this movie. At the same time, I could understand why people don't uh, like this movie. I can understand why people think that um, uh, in certain moments, it had too many jokes. I, I completely enjoyed every single part of the jokes, but I, I think I think I'll agree with everyone else that 
the other movies are just better than Guardians of the Galaxy uh, 2, which is just crazy in my opinion because I really liked the movie. Number 12. Number 12. Okay, so if you didn't hate, uh, hate my list uh, before, you're going to hate my list now. Avengers Age of Ultron is number 12 for me. Okay, so again, really good film. I don't think it's better than the original Avengers movie, the first Avengers movie, but it's a really, really good film. And the only reason, again, the only reason why it's number 12 is because 11 and up, to me, are better than it. They're just better films than it. Um, with that said, Avengers Infinity War, I mean, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron against Infinity War, what, uh, no competition, no competition there. Age of Ultron, though, deserves its spot in the Marvel Universe, I believe. It's a really, really good film. Number 11. I actually enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy, the first movie, more than I enjoyed Avengers Age of Ultron. That's kind of that's kind of nuts to some people, I'm sure, but I really did enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, it's a great film. It's a whole lot better than the second movie. I will state that. It's a whole lot better than uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. With that said, there are way better movies. There are way better movies than Guardians of the Galaxy in this list. Okay? And we are about to get to them now. Now that I've talked about 11 to 19, let me talk about my top 10 favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. So at number 10, we got Doctor Strange. Okay, so before this movie, I knew nothing about Doctor Strange at all. I never even heard of Doctor Strange. After seeing this movie, um, and I really think it's the special effects in this movie that makes this movie, though the story is amazing, uh, I just think it's a really good film. I don't, I can't even spend much time on it, I just think it's a good film, and it's, it's my 10th favorite film. Number 9 will come to you as a shock. Captain America, the, f uh, the Winter Soldier. That is right. The Winter Soldier. Okay, I'll be honest with you. The Winter Soldier movie, it's a great film, and it's a great um, middle part to Civil War. I mean, it is Captain America Part 2. Uh, then you got Civil War. I just, it, it's a great film. It really is much better than any of the other films in terms of story. Uh, it's just, there's just some parts of it that drag for me. And I just, I just think there uh, there's better films than it. With that said, it is much better than any of the other films. That's for sure. It's, it's a great story. Great story. Uh, and then number eight, Thor. Great film. Great film. Ooh, funny film. Funny film. Actually, I think, uh, up to this point, I think I've enjoyed the humor in Thor from uh, uh, the first Thor movie more than I've enjoyed the humor from any of the other films up to this point. Up to number eight. Number seven, Captain America, the first Avenger. The first Captain America movie. I just... I like everything they did with that movie, making it feel like it, it, it comes from uh, World War II and, and the story of Captain America. That, that's why Captain America is definitely my second favorite, of course, after Iron Man. And, you know, they even have Tony Stark's dad in this movie. It's, it's a great film. It's a great film. I've enjoyed my head off watching that film. And I've seen that movie at least five times. I've seen Thor more than I've seen that movie, but I put 
this movie over Thor because I've enjoyed it uh, very much. Okay, now to tell you my top six favorite movies. And this may come to uh, be a surprise if none of this list, uh, I think all of this list might come to a surprise. And it's this is actually a very big surprise to me because this movie, before these other movies, I would have claimed every single day that this movie was number one for me. And the fact that in the last couple of years, they have made movies that are, to me, better than this one, just shocks my mind. Because it's no longer number one. In fact, it's number six. The first Avengers movie, Avengers. Avengers Assemble. The first time they all assemble. This movie is completely action pack and uh, I would really argue that you have to watch the other films that came before Avengers to really get the whole story which to some will suck. To me it's uh, it's the reason why they're doing a cinematic universe guys. I think this film it deserves its spot at number one but well, it did, at least, but there, the other movies that I'm about to talk about just ended up surprising me a lot more than this film. It, it's crazy, but Avengers, come on. That's a really great film. At number five, number five is Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Okay, a lot of people are going to claim that this movie is too funny. Um, I will admit that there are certain moments where I feel like they shouldn't have had a joke. With that said, I've laughed my head off in every film. Like I said, up to at least number eight, the humor in Thor, the first movie, I loved. In Thor Ragnarok, though, they just turn it up a notch, and it's just, it's too funny. It's too funny, and I enjoyed myself too much to put it anywhere less than my top five favorite. Okay? With that said, it deserves its spot at number five. It's probably, it, it could probably easily move from that spot within the next couple of years. Um, let's talk about number four, though. Number four, this is another one that really, really surprised me, and I'm very surprised at where I'm putting it on my list. Black Panther. So, again, I knew, I knew pretty much nothing about Black Panther, except that he came from Wakanda. Uh, other than that, and his suit being made out of vibranium, those are the only two things that I ever knew about Black Panther, and this movie surprised me at how I would really argue that if it wasn't for Avengers Infinity War and the first Avengers movie, I would probably say that this is the absolute best Marvel movie there is. I put it at number four because I simply feel like the my top three favorites are always going to be my top three favorites to my feelings. But in terms of story, in terms of action, in terms of uh, special effects, it's way better than, uh, than uh, the first two that I'm going to talk about. Not as good as Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War was great, and I'll talk about that in a second. So. Number three, you guys knew that this movie was coming. Iron Man the first Iron Man. And the reason why this movie is in my top three is because, again, of my personal feelings towards Iron Man. I've seen this movie more than a dozen times, and it's just, I, I enjoy it every single second I see it. Fantastic movie. 
great start to the cinematic universe. In fact, I feel like I feel like even though Hulk is technically the first uh, movie that starts the cinematic universe, I believe it was Iron Man that really started the cinematic universe. That really started um, the story, you know. And Iron Man, Tony Stark, favorite character, favorite character, and everything that Robert Downey Jr. has done with the character, gold. With that said, Captain America, Civil War, is number two. Number two, absolute. Again, because of my personal feelings towards this movie, Captain America and Iron Man, Captain America versus Iron Man, just the band is breaking up here. It's just... It's such an interesting story, and I feel like it was a perfect movie leading into Avengers Infinity War. Not that this movie, not that Avengers Infinity War comes right after Civil War, not in terms of release date anyway, but I think that Civil War deserves its spot here in terms of my feelings. With my number one favorite, though, I've talked about it all throughout this video, Avengers Infinity War. Okay, now, before Avengers Infinity War, again, Avengers, the first movie, would be here because, again, of my personal feelings. And the only reason why it's number six uh, is because I've really enjoyed five, I've really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok, and number four, Black Panther. And, of course, I would be crazy to ever move Iron Man and Civil War. I will never move Iron Man and Civil War from my top three. I will never do that. But as for Avengers Infinity War though, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's just amazing and it's so even in terms of storytelling and the story and the genres, I mean, well, let's face it, with all the other movies, you could really say that some of the movies are a comedy movies, other Marvel movies are more of a Hulk movies, uh, more of a monster movies like Hulk, and some of the other ones, all of them should technically be action movies, but, like, you, you could really say Hulk is a monster movie. You could really say Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy 2 are um, comedy movies more than they are action. You could really say Iron Man 3 and even Black Panther are more action movies, especially Avengers are more action movies than uh, any of the other movies. Avengers, though, it, it's a perfect even matchup, and it's just so good at what they've done with that film. So good at what they've done with that film that it surprises me. Maybe it might be the case that I'm just coming off of the hype of the first uh, Avengers, um, Avengers and Fame War, but I'm telling you, I think even with that, or without it, if I ignore the fact that that was the last movie I saw, I think in terms of storytelling, it's the best movie out of all of them. It really, really is. With that said, that's my list of my Avengers movies, of my Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Let me know your list in the description down below. Using, of course, these 19 movies. Because these 19 movies are, like I said, part of the Cinematic Universe movies. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. And I am out. Boy, this actually ended up being quite a long video. I am out. Bye!